Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm going to show you how to write a Python script to automatically change your YouTube thumbnail. If you want to jump ahead, here are the timestamps. First, we're going to enable the YouTube API on Google Cloud. Then we're going to do a one-time thing. We're going to create an OAuth consent screen. Then we'll create the OAuth client so we have access. And we'll write the Python code. OK, on Google Cloud, I'm just going to type in YouTube. And I'll choose the Data API version 3. I'll enable the API. That's all it took. Now we'll go to credentials and we have to configure a consent screen. This will be external and create. For my name, I'll just have autogen thumbs. Choose your email from the drop down. I'll add a logo and the only other piece of info we need is the developer contact info, which is just your email and save and continue. Now this API is changing a lot. Just in the last two days, this workflow has changed. We need to now add a scope. The scope is going to be near the very end, and it's the YouTube.ForceSSL. So I'll choose that. I'll click Update. Now sensitive scopes show the YouTube API, and I'll click Save and Continue. So we have to add a test user. That'll be ourselves. And you'll put in an email address that you can authenticate yourself with Google. Now here's the weird thing. Right now you have to press Add twice. I show up in the Users. I'll click Save and Continue. And back to Dashboard. Now that we have the consent screen, we can go back to credentials, create credentials, OAuth client ID. Now this part's a little strange. Application type is gonna be web app. And you'll see in the Python code we're gonna write, it actually creates a local web server. I'll just call mine web client YouTube thumb replacer. Now we're gonna add one more thing. That's a redirect URI. Now I'm gonna put a bug in here. And that's because I don't want you to struggle for the hours that it took me to figure this out. I put in localhost port 8080. If you don't want the bug, you need an ending slash. But I'm going to show you without the ending slash. I'll click Create and then Download JSON. Now I'm going to rename the very, very long file name to just ClientSecret.json and I'll press OK. OK, now I'm going to create a simple Python script called UploadThumb.py. And the first thing I'm going to do is import a lot of libraries. And to make the libraries work, we have to do a few installs. pip install dash dash upgrade google dash off and then google dash off dash http lib2 just to make sure you have everything that I've installed in the past I don't think that one is necessary this one is necessary google dash off dash oauth lib and finally pip install dash dash upgrade google dash api dash python client okay now we have some variables to add in so we need the video id and for that I'm going to take an unlisted video of mine and watch question mark v equals what comes after that is the id so I'll grab that. That'll be my video ID. And then I'm just going to tell it where my new thumbnail is going to be. I'll tell it where that client secret.json file has been downloaded. And then for scoping, we're saying that our program here is going to use the YouTube Force SSL scope. Next thing we'll do is we'll actually load the client secret file and the scope. And here's where we run the local server. So it's going to be on localhost. I'm choosing port 8080. Those are the defaults for the YouTube API as well. And finally, we're going to try to upload the thumbnail. So YouTube.thumbnails, we're going to use the video ID we just added. And for media file, that's the thumbnail path. And we're going to get a response, print it out, and print out any errors that may show up. So I'm going to have an error because I put in the wrong path on the OAuth page. But I'll type python upload thumb.py. And this is the error, redirect URI mismatch. So to fix that, I'll go back to the OAuth client ID. I'll click on what we created, and I'll scroll down to the redirect URIs. I'll add in that backslash at the end, and I'll save. Now when I run this, it prompts me with which account I want to log in, and then which YouTube channel I want to use. And it's going to say it hasn't been verified, and that's right, it's just for us. So we'll click Continue and Allow. OK, authentication has completed. And down here, we actually see a lot of the details of the video we've just changed. OK, so this is my analytics page for that video. And now that we've run it, I can refresh. And there we go. It all works. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching.